Hi, welcome to Lunalogic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be um, your What is Being Revealed to You in May 2023 reading for Leo. You could have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus placements, also Lilith, Saturn, um, Jupiter. No, they're saying north and, and or south node, okay? Um, so, Leo and Cross Watchers, please take what resonates. Leave the rest if it's not your story. Do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, roles can be reversed, Leo. What that means is this can be something that you're doing, thinking about, going on around you, okay? Or what you're going through. Or, you know, Leo, this could be something that your person's thinking about, doing, feeling, um you know, something that they're going through or doing, okay? This could be, a, you know, a family member, friend, coworker, boss, neighbor even. This could be something in your immediate environment, your town, your city, your overall community, your neighborhood. So please keep that in mind. Um, we're just, it could be about love. It could be about, um, really, I feel like it might be about love, but it we, we love our family. We love our friends, right? We love our jobs. We love our careers. So it just depends on how you define it. This could be something from your past coming back around, something currently going on, and or something um, coming towards you in the future. But it's something that's being revealed to you. Now, this could be being revealed to you about yourself, about the people around you, your environment, something that's been going on, um, that type of stuff. Um, we are in the midst of Mercury retrograde right now in Taurus, which is another fixed sign, like yourself. So it's, you know, obviously it's hitting Taurus the hardest, but it's also affecting, you know, all the other signs, but affecting the fixed signs specifically. And Leo, you are a fixed sign. We still have Lilith transiting Leo right now till October. We have Pluto in Aquari transiting Aquarius. We have Saturn and Pisces transiting. We have, we just had the Libra new moon, which is that energy will last for six months. We just had the Aries new moon and the solar eclipse in Aries um, as well. So that will be, you know, last for, for up to six months as well. And, you know, solar eclipse, you are ruled by the sun. So things are a little intense. We have other different transits going on. So definitely check out your birth chart and compare it to your um, transits, okay? If you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, um, I'm still running, my email is below. I'm still running the 50% off on all private personal readings from now to the end of May. Um, also, um, if there's going to be an extended to this reading, the link to that will be in the description box below, as well as the comment section below. Also, I'm going to do a Leo versus all 12 Zodiac signs towards the end of this reading. Okay. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the current situation, the root cause or the reasoning why the influences, and that could be influences that you're allowing. This could be mental processes on your side, their side. This could be family members, uh, friends, coworkers, your side, their side. This could be, you know, if it's magic or hidden secrets or whatever, but something is being revealed to you, either about you or about somebody else. Or it's about a situation. And this could go either way. We're also, that's the influence. We'll look at the immediate recent past, three months or less. We'll look at the immediate near future, three months or less. My readings can tend to be very future predictive, so I've been told. We'll look at how you feel about the situation. Um, and how you contributed to it. And we'll look at your person. Now, that could be the person on your mind, currently dealing with it, someone from the past. It could be someone coming towards you in the future as well. We'll look at their their thoughts and feelings and their contribution to it as well. Okay? All right. Enough of me talking. Am I taking jumper spirit? Yes. Okay. We said three shuffles. You could be seeing a lot of different synchronicities right now. That's what I just heard as well, Leo. One. Two. And three. I just heard you don't have all the facts straight. If it didn't, if someone doesn't have screenshots or something, then it didn't happen. Now, I'm not trying to judge you, Leo, but you could. I'm hearing the word gossip, a lot of gossip. You could be engaging in gossip. I mean, Lilith is transiting your sign. This is about your shadow aspects, okay? So I'm not judging you, but there's gossip here. 
either either you're engaging in it or you're adding to it or spreading it be careful with that when you gossip about somebody else not only are you casting a spell over that person, but you're also casting a spell over yourself and creating some type of karma there between you and the person. Okay. What is currently going on for Leo? Show me the current state. Okay. Do you have the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Virgo, though. Could be a Taurus or Capricorn, but I get strong Virgo. Something is very, very stable, long-term. What's the root cause of something, okay? The Knight of Swords. Some truth, hasty news or hasty communications. Gemini Libra. So the root cause of this is the truth. But also, too, you see there's a, she's holding the pentacle low, like around her belly area. There could be a pregnancy here as well. And someone needs to either either you're receiving this news or you're giving this news. This is something's being revealed to you. Someone could be pregnant. You could be pregnant. Or you maybe have gotten someone pregnant. I don't know what, you know, what's influencing this. The Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces here. Okay. So you're needing to fight for something. Or what's being revealed to you is that there's two women here. You could be these one of these women. Or you could be dealing with two women here. There are two women involved here. So this is someone who's very grounded, nurturing, um, abundant. This is someone who is very loving, nurturing, and psychic. She also can do water scrying as well. Maybe Scorpio as well, but not necessarily. There's a need to fight for something. Or there's a need to deliver some type of truth here. Or there's a choice that's being, either you have a choice between two or, and that's what's being revealed about you, or you're realizing somebody else has a choice between two. Now, this is for May. What's the recent past for Leo, please? Eight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. That's three months or less. Somebody here in three months or less in the recent past was wanting to walk away from a connection. Or has told somebody that they wanted to walk away. Seven of Cups. So you go from the eight to the seven, which is minus one, which is the Ace of Cups. Somebody here had a lot of options. They were planning on walking away. They were confused about how to walk away. Got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Somebody had new love in the recent past three months or less. And they created some type of confusion. They want me to ask if this is you or someone else. Is this Leo that was planning, Was had other options? Was it Leo? Was it Leo that had other options? The, okay. Just to ask again later. Was it Leo that had other options? The universe says, yes, it was you. So this is what's being revealed about you in the month of May. So I'm going to leave the universe says yes. They told me to ask again later. I'll leave that one out too. But you had, it looks like you are the one that had other options here. I could be talking to a masculine Leo, but it could be a feminine depending on your purposes and orientation. Put this right there. So the universe said yes, this was you. You were telling somebody that you wanted to walk away. And it created a lot of confusion in the recent past, three months or less. You told somebody this. All right, immediate near future, three months or less. We have the four of pentacles wanting to hold on. You're wanting to hold on to some form of stability. Show me the near future. Knight of wands. Now you have two knights here. And the way it looks is that this is at the root cause, Knight of Swords, and this is in the immediate near future. They're all looking, they're both looking the same direction towards the past. 
So you're looking back at the past here. At your past options. That is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. This is strong Leo. We also have four of pentacles here. Wanting to hold on to some type of singlehood. In the near future, you're wanting to hold on to that fast movement. But you're looking back towards the past. How does Leo feel about this situation? Two of Wands, that you have a choice that you need to make. Again, looking back towards the past. You're looking back at your past choices and something's being revealed to you about you. About the choices that you've made. The Emperor here. Okay. Taurus. Our Aries, Taurus, Leo for me as a reader. You feel in control. You feel powerful. The Emperor is not only the husband, one of the husband cards, but it's very much the, um, I want to be in control. I want to rule. I conquer. You feel like you conquered something. The sun. You feel like you conquered something being illuminated here. I feel like you feel like you controlled the situation. And for, okay, for some of you, for some of you, this may not be for all of you Leos, for some of you, you were leaving at night while someone was sleeping. You were leaving the house at night to go see someone at night. Or someone was coming to your house while your person was sleeping, if you're in a relationship. There is a choice between two here. Someone was covering your tracks for you. How does your person feel about the situation? One that you are currently dealing with or one you're thinking of? How do they feel about the situation? Ace of Pentacles. They feel like they want an offer from you. They feel very abundant towards Virgo Capricorn. Five of Pentacles. They feel like they're, they have to leave this offer out in the cold here. Taurus energy because you could be committed elsewhere they they may thought that you wanted to yeah seven of wands they feel they feel very defensive right now they feel very defensive right now there's a lot of people involved we want us to be a one two three four five we have five people here But it looks like here in the near future, you want to hold on to some form of singlehood. Why, show me, let me, get, let me clarify these. Why is this um, Queen of Pentacles here at the core of this reading? You had a choice. You might have chosen to do something wrong here and that's being revealed about you. Because the universe, remember, said that this was you. Okay, let me just get a good shuffle. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? At the core of this. Foresight. Three of Wands waiting. You may feel like somebody here is wanting their freedom when they when they realize this. It's like you you saw somebody here saw something coming. The Empress reverse. Now we have the Empress to the Emperor. Another person. Now we have six people here. Someone could have warned you about something and you didn't listen. And what they warned you about is about to happen. Or somebody else was warned about you, Leo. 
because you have multiple choices here and they didn't listen. I feel like I'm talking to a Leo here who wants to just win, who just wants to win. You feel like you conquered something from coming out. It's like you want to control somebody's happiness. Somebody here could have been a Taurus, um, Libra energy. Somebody here warned you not to do something, but you did it anyways. What is this Knight of Swords about? That's quick communication coming in. Um, also a fight here, a battle. Yeah, Seven of Swords. The root cause of this is <coughs> what's causing the situation. And if you're married, your wife figure rather you're you know it doesn't matter about gender gender identity preferences orientation the white uh the wife um figure here um maybe may have warned you about something but you didn't listen you didn't take it serious somebody here gemini libra aquarius again someone is doing something very dishonest someone could uh, someone could have warned you about some form of trickery here spying um, lack of consciousness, masquerading as a friend, cheating, theft, underhanded behavior, trickery. Show me the seven. Trying to get away with it. Someone here at the root cause is trying to get away of something. With a somebody here, and it feels like it's you, Leo. May feel like you've gotten away with something. I uh, wouldn't count on that. Queen of Wands, seven people here. You did something with confidence and you think you got away with it. Leo energy. What is this Queen of Cups about? That's in, There's a Queen of Cups here. Cancer Pisces that's influencing your entire reading. Show me this Queen of Cups, please. Yeah, Eight of uh, Cups in the reverse. Not able to move on. Could be a Scorpio, possibly. Someone is not able to move on from you or you're not able to move on from them. There's a fear of moving on from someone. You're afraid of making the ba a bad choice here. But the choice has already been made. There's so many people here in your reading, Leo. There's too many people involved in your relationship or whatever this is. There, there are way too many people here. And you just it feels like you just want to win. You feel like you've gotten away with something. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, that's you. You feel like you've gotten away with something. I wouldn't count on that. Queen of Cups now in the reverse. Cancer energy. Yeah. Fickleness, vanity, um, being gullible here. This is somebody here who feels like... Somebody is making a lot of promises to you that they have no intentions of keeping with you. If you're thinking of leaving someone to be with somebody else, because there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of women here. Either a lot of people know your business or you're gossiping about your business and someone's going to spill, spill the beans. Or you're about to make a choice. That you're not going to like the outcome. You're trying to control the truth is what I just heard. What is this Eight of Cups about in the recent past? Yeah, you walked away from healing something with somebody here. In the re you, you tried to walk away from healing something with someone. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups here. You didn't want to heal. The Moon card reversed. You might be, again, I get this, you could be leaving your house at night to go see someone. Um, the truth is going to be revealed about the past. Unveiling secrets of truth. You were deceiving yourself. Cancer Pisces energy there. You were also, you were leave, possibly leaving the house while somebody was sleeping to go visit other options here. Show me the seven of cups, please. You think you got away with it, but you haven't? Yeah. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. You did something intentionally to cause somebody confusion in the recent past. You did something with intention. 
a uh, page of swords reverse can talk about malicious gossip it can talk about hypocrisy it can talk about doing something with great malice deception not being concerned with anyone else's feelings gemini energy there and that's going to come that could come back on you okay yeah ten of cups in reverse yeah you you tried to destroy a relationship a marriage i mean if you're married or you try to destroy somebody's, um, you created a broken home without breaking the home, if that makes any sense. And you did it with great malice. You did it with great intention. You did it on purpose because you were mad. You lied, stole, cheat, underhanded, sneaky behavior. You invested in the wrong things and that's about to be revealed about you. You did something for the sake of controlling a situation. Now in the immediate near future, we have the four of pentacles here. Why is that here? You're holding on to something. Gossip, malicious lies, Queen of Swords reverse. Another person. That's eight people involved. There's eight people that are involved in the situation. Malicious gossip, lies, misery. You put down other people who, and that can't be, you can't be trusted. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius there. Tell me more. Yeah, the full card reverse. Yeah. You did something with, with poor judgment, and that's going to be revealed in the near future. Nine of Wands, you might have been in and out, but you're wanting to now go back towards the past without... It's like you want forgiveness without accountability, because you think, you believe you got away with something, but I don't feel like you have. Show me the Nine of Wands. Why is it here? Ten of Pentacles. You did something for money. In the near future, you are doing something for financial gain. You did some with deeds, trust funds, inheritance, foundation. Something about family, home, and businesses. You, you're risking... In the near future, you're risking everything out of impulsivity and based on malicious gossip and lies. You're spreading rumors and lies on purpose and you're risking everything you've ever worked for. Or somebody knows the truth about you and they're revealing that. Show me this Ten of Pentacles, please. Yeah, Seven of Cups reversed. Now we have it in the near future where there will be absolute clarity here. Scorpio energy. Someone's poor choices is now coming back to haunt them because somebody is no longer sleeping anymore. Now they see very clearly they're about to get the truth about you. How you feel is that you're making a choice heading back towards the past. You feel like you have won or you have been successful at controlling the truth being illuminated here. Show me the two of wands. How you feel? Regret, loss, yeah. You regret, you regret something that you've done. You looked at the three of cups, but didn't look at the two cups you had right in front of you. And that's going to end up costing you. You, you caused a lot of heartbreak for no, no reason other than you were just pissed off. Why is the emperor here? Page of cups reversed because of your own image, emotional immaturity. Someone is receiving bad news about you. And you know it. You did something you regret. What did you, what did Leo do with that regret? You regret? Yeah, you have a lot of, you have a lot of guilt, anxiety. You have a lot of regret. You have a lot of guilt that you're carrying with you. You brought somebody to their breaking point because of the mind games and uh, you did something also for money or you were trying to get away with something for money that's being revealed. Show me this um, emotional immaturity. You tried to control someone's intuition. They were right. Eight of Wands in reverse. You don't want somebody, you don't want somebody to get this truth. Theft. You don't want somebody to get the truth that you stole from them. Mm -hmm. 
Show me the sun. What is being illuminated here for Leo or about Leo? Two of Wands in reverse. That you um, were very indecisive. You had um, the reason why you were acting like this is because you have multiple options. You have multiple choices here. And you just don't want somebody to figure this out. You don't want them to know. You're trying to control the truth from coming out. Yeah. Nine of Cups reverse. That you were acting on your only on your own um, self-interest here. You caused a lot of misery here. A lot of unhappiness. You shatter someone's dreams. You caused someone to have nightmares. How your person feels is with the Ace of Pentacles, they're offering you everything. Commitment, love. They want to be with you. But with the Five of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands, they feel left out in the cold. You might have made up some promises that you had no intentions of ever keeping. Show me the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah. Four of Swords reverse. Somebody wants to come out of isolation with you, but they don't feel like they can because you're not being honest. Five of Pentacles here. Something, I don't know, maybe you're into photography or music or real estate property. Five of Pentacles here, Ace of Wands. This person is taking action here. They're, they feel like they have no choice but to take action to defend themselves with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands. They have, they feel like this new beginning that they wanted with you is never going to happen. And they feel like they have no choice but to take a defensive stance now because they feel like you don't love them. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe that you never loved them. Or you've ghosted somebody and this person is coming around to tell the truth. Somebody here is defending the truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's taking a very logical stance. Yep, two of cups reversed. Because the cancer energy, but also the marriage between Leo and Scorpio. Because they realized that you were playing them and you were manipulating them. You had, you had secret sneaky links or investments elsewhere. And they're defending the truth. And the truth is that there was no equality between you and this person. You had no intentions of ever being um, equal with them or being treating them as an equal you were the reason why you were acting this way is because you were you were messing around elsewhere they know it let me see i'm gonna write down outcome so in the extended i'm going to get the outcome of this you have, you have so many people here. You have so many people here. And we'll get the T. Well, first we'll get the T, then the outcome. And whatever else needs to come out in the extended. The link to that will be in the description box below. Let me move on to your all signs now. Let me just clear my table one second. Okay, so let's see. Now remember, unless you're dealing with another Leo, they said it was you. The universe says, yes, this was you. You had a lot of people. How many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Nine people are involved in this. Either nine people know this about you, or there were nine people involved in whatever the hell this was. Nine people, Leo. You you didn't you're not getting away with what you think you're getting away with in the month of May. It's gonna be revealed to whomever it needs to be revealed to. All right, let's see. Spirit, please show me um, Leo done with all 12 zodiac signs. Aries to Pisces, please. Okay, here we go. All right, so if you're dealing with an Aries, they're about to blow up your spot here. Something's blowing up between you and an Aries. If you're dealing with a Taurus, 
there is hopefulness or there's a wish and longing here. Something's burning very fast and very hot. But as a shooting star goes or a comet, it burns hot and heavy, then it fizzles out. You're dealing with a Gemini. They want change here. This very slow progress and transformation between you and a Gemini. Dealing with a Cancer. They want you to march to the beat of your own drum here. They want you to choose them. Yeah, but I don't feel like you're going to. They want you to leave somebody else, but you're not taking any steps to do that. If you're done with another Leo or this is you, there is a lot of manipulation here. You are very much tempted by Cancer Pisces here. You're tempted. You're tempted to leave a home or there's somebody who is tempting you, is seducing you, and they're trying to get you to leave a home to come and choose them. Yep, by making you all kinds of offers here. If you don't want a Virgo, well, they love you. They have big love for you. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra might tell you you're going to reap what you've sown here. If you don't want a Scorpio, medicine. Okay, they're trying to take care of their health right now. Okay, they're making a choice to choose their own well-being and their own mental health um, over this. Yeah, because they know the truth with the secrets, uh, books in reverse, secrets are being revealed to the Scorpio about you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they are covering something up for you. What? Yeah, they don't, they don't want anyone to ask any questions. Or you don't want somebody to answer, you don't want somebody to ask the Sagittarius. They're covering something up. They're covering something up for you. They don't want you to answer any questions about a home. They are watching you. They don't wish you well. The Sagittarius doesn't. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they don't want things to end with you, but they do want things to change. If you're dealing with an Aquarius... Ring in reverse. They could they could be getting a divorce from you because they find out the truth from about you. Why? Yeah, justice in reverse because they feel like you weren't fair. They feel like you weren't fair. You weren't fair. You weren't just with them or you feel this way about them. Yeah, acts in reverse. You didn't really change anything. You really just, you haven't actually changed. If you want a Pisces, lady number two in reverse, they don't want to be the second lady. They don't want you to be addicted to them. They've given you enough time for you to want a Pisces to choose. They felt like they, they gave you a lucky break already to end something with someone, but you chose not to. They're not going to communicate with you with a letter in reverse. Or at least they're not going to communicate with you honestly about how they really feel. Okay, so that's your all signs. Before I get onto the Scrabble tiles, let's see. Let me pull some of these cards for you real quick. What else will be revealed? And again, like I said, they're saying it's about you unless you're dealing with another Leo. What is being revealed about Leo in the month of May? Really, either revealed to Leo or about Leo. Show me Leo. What is being revealed about Leo or to Leo? We have the wolf knuckle. I have to read this from the book. And we have the gold coin in reverse. Okay. With a turtle here in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, something's going to happen really fast in May. Okay, wolf knuckle, and then I'll do the scrabble tiles. Okay. So leader of the pack education and ignorance and it says um it's in the upright but it says teaching and learning manifest in many ways and motivating people sometimes requires leading from the back of the pack now it's in the upright it says this is the best time for you to learn something regardless of what it is you are an ideal student and have incredible capabilities to absorb and disseminate large amounts of information if you feel uncomfortable with this Ask yourself if you are motivated or if you are studying the right materials or subject. Enroll in a class, get a mentor, and join the pack. 
Then it says, this is a good time for you to be a part of a group with a common goal. Life will be presenting you with an amazing array of learning opportunities at this time. So look at anyone as a potential teacher. You will be sharing your knowledge with others in a leadership capacity and may consider becoming a teacher or volunteer instructor as a new career. If you are already a student or teaching, this card is an affirmation that you can't that you have chosen well. Okay. Now, but with the coin here in the reverse, 35 says um, in circulation, abundance and scarcity. Now it's in the upright. It says how we but well, the message overall message says how we perceive and interact with wealth affects our quality of life. Now it's in reverse, and it says you may have lost money or perhaps are about to be disappointed financially. Watch out in case you are amassing debt that is hard to repay. So consider adhering to a stricter budget and ensuring that you keep track of your account. This is not likely a good time to invest in something you see as potentially risky. Wait until you have looked at all your expenses realistically and have a backup or a monetary contingency plan. Self-reliance is important for your financial benefit. Make sure you have access to your own funds. Watch out for legal documents that allow others access to your savings or any partnerships that seem dubious. So whatever's being revealed here is something that has to do about money, you paid money for something that you didn't talk to your person about. There's a lot of people involved in covering something up. And it's going to be revealed in May, either to you or about you. If you're dealing with another Leo, it'll be to you. If you're dealing, not dealing with another Leo, then it will be revealed about you. Okay. Let's see. Let's we'll see who you could be dealing with. Who is Leo dealing with? Then I'll get your scarf card. Who is Leo dealing with in the month of May? A Scorpio. A Gemini. A Pisces. Capricorn. Taurus. Sagittarius. Cancer. I have all the water signs out. And Virgo. You paid for something that you weren't supposed to. Also, Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. You paid for something is what I'm hearing, and you didn't talk to your partner about that. Now, this could be business, or this could be in love. Like, you had a lot of options here. Either you were, also, you could have been in the recent past visiting someone at night, or someone was coming to see you at night. So, you could be able to Aquarius, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces. So I, I just heard you made a bad deal, or you made a deal with the devil, and it's coming back to haunt you. Taurus. Gemini, Capricorn, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, what do you got? So this could be first, middle, last initial of your name, your person's name, anybody of all those nine people that were involved, their name, um, additional messages. What do you have for Leo, please, regarding this reading? Okay. One second. You did something with great malice intended. You, you did something on purpose, basically, with great, you you intended to cause harm. And that's going to be revealed. Um, also, with the King of Swords that was in the, you, you know, the the um, first, first portion when I was clarifying it, that can even talk about law enforcement as well. You might, or an attorney, might have to get a defense attorney. Something's being revealed. G, Z, A, X, M, E, U, U, T, Y, S, R, A, I, O, B, A, A, E, O, S, L, I, I again, U, H, and O. Are. Okay. All right, guidance. All right, what guidance do you have, please, for Leo 
for the month of May regarding this reading. What guidance do you have for Leo regarding this reading? Guidance, please, for Leo regarding this reading. Guidance for Leo regarding this reading for the month of May. Okay, we have apple apples in reverse. Okay. Number four. It says deception, mistrust, and rotten. It says, don't be a rotten apple. When this card is in reverse, it is telling you to be mindful of how you direct your energy towards others. Often someone will attack another out of jealousy and fear. Or you may be lashing out at someone for something that has nothing to do with them. But throwing someone under the bus always brings negative karma onto yourself tenfold. Evil never wins, and neither will you if you attempt to harm someone so that you can get ahead. Financially is what I just heard. Know that you can still achieve your dreams without stepping on others. Also, know that directing your emotions towards others will not solve your problems. In the month of May. This is what, I feel like you might have had some type of plot or plan against somebody else. For a financial gain for greed. A lot of people are involved in this. Or a lot of people know about it. Could be family. I'm also, I want to clarify this in the extended as well. All right, well, Leo, that has been your reading. Please take care of yourself. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, I love you. Until next time, bye.